untuk mereka kalau kita first of all saya nak tu dia this morning tu dia nak fikir di Indo Pacific Digital Health Users Forum. I would like to also thank the our Madam MC not only as on introduction part, but also putting in the element of tourism promotion. I just like to correct on one thing around these parts. There is no waterfall here. Where can you find the waterfall? It is the largest, largest island, and that's where I come from. <laughs> so uh, please bear with me. I have some uh, names here to thank. The President, International Federation of Health Information Management Association, Ms. Uh, Vicky Bennett. The Chair, Pacific Health uh, Information Network, Ms. Uh, Lenara Tupai Fui. Ms. Dr. Lucas Ditokas. Assistant, first Assistant Secretary of the Global Health Division. You are at home, sir. Uh, SPC representative, Dr. Sunya Sokai. Sunya, yeah, or Oaks. Dr. Sunya and I just uh, back from uh, Mongolia together. So nice to meet you again. Dr. Sunya. The Managing Director of MSAS, representative from DFET of Australia and MFET of New Zealand, representatives of the UNFPA, of the UNICEF and WHO, distinguished guests, forum participants, standing warm up to Fiji on each and every one of you. Thank you for your presence here today and your contribution in ensuring that Fiji is I'm extremely pleased that the hard working organization with the able support of our kind sponsors are able to put together this important forum where you specialist in the digital and electronic information systems in the region can come together to and strategize on strengthening and advancing digital health and digital health information management in Fiji and the region. Through the sharing of experiences, learning from the Pacific region, I advise that uh, the keynote addresses and country level case studies that will be shared in this regular forum will contribute to a deeper understanding and appreciation of where the region is it in terms of digital, digital health capabilities, as well as where we aspire to be in the next few years ahead. The past COVID-19 pandemic has taught us that digital health is a great tool for health services, a tool that can effectively support, facilitate, and augment how we deliver health services in the post-COVID era. This forum represents our commitment and our partners' untiring support to continue to improve health services in our region so that we are able to serve our people better and reach out to those who live in rural and remote locations. We remain committed to ensuring that all the, those who need health services in our country are able to access the health service irrespective of where they live, their social circumstances, their personal preferences and beliefs, or their physical or mental limitations. The Pacific region has its own unique set of challenges when it comes to information technology and engagement in electronic or virtual platforms from geographical isolation. constraints to access to constant and stable internet connectivity. This calls for an approach that is tailored to our unique 
context crafted by our Pacific-led professional communities, working hand in hand with our available partners to craft solutions, utilizing our resources and capabilities, and based on acceptable international standards of practice that are best suited to our needs and plans. In this regard, the WHO in 2019 released its first ever evidence-based guidelines for digital health. The guideline provides useful recommendations on select digital health interventions that involve the use of mobile phone or device and provides information on implementation considerations, quality and certainty of extended evidence factors related to acceptability and feasibility of the innovation. For Fiji, we are finalizing our digital health strategic plan, which will be launched soon. And I will guide our future pro and it will guide our future progress and development in digital health in the next five years. At the heart of our endeavor lies the understanding that progress is most meaningful when nurtured by those who comprehend the nuances of our environment. Our collective aim to empower nations to strengthen their digital capacities while building resilience. Shared missions hinges on the steadfast government. Some allow me to set of initiatives undertaking Fiji. During the COVID-19 response in 2021, the Fiji Center for Communicable Disease Control, with the support of the Indo-Pacific Center for Health Security, established the Manu COVID testing reporting system, in which nearly 300,000 COVID lab tests were meticulously tracked. Certificates seamlessly via email to patients and travelers. I am advised that our Pacific neighbors, Samoa and Nauru, have embraced the Tamano system for their own COVID testing processes. Furthermore, the facility of Tamano has been preferred in our mass drug administration program, such as the typhoid vaccination project that is currently being undertaken in the Northern Division. In the future. This expansion is a tribute not only to the potential of uh, innovative and electronic tools. Fiji's dedication to transformative digital health extends to the in ongoing reform of our health supply chains, Fiji Pharmaceutical and Biomedical Services, in fact, partnership with BES and the M Supply Foundation. I'm making great strides towards electronic stock management using M Supply platform. At present, 66 of our health, 66 percent of our health facilities have embraced this transformative initiative, with full national coverage anticipated by the close of this year. The vaccination team and the ministry groundbreaking initiative to digitize the vaccine cold chain through the integration of uh, Bluetooth centers into the M supply technology, we hope to be able to effectively monitor and maintain vaccine quality and safety across 196 healthcare facilities in Fiji. I'm also aware that the Aspen private-public partnership program with the Fiji government have successfully implemented the Tamamu Electronic Health Record EHR and specialized systems for laboratory and radiology, which provides more development and learning opportunities for health services in Fiji. I wish to extend my heartfelt appreciation to the Australian Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade and the New Zealand Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade for their unwavering support in this endeavor. Moreover, the recently introduced DFET International Development Policy with its focus on localized projects, deeply resonates with our vision for a self-sufficient and empowered Pacific region. Our gratitude extends further to our value 
the partners in the World Health Organization, World Bank, UNFPA, UNICEF, the Safety Health Information Network, and many others who have graciously supported and facilitated our collective. Dialogue on digital health initiatives, policies, effective coordination to be able to learn, grow, and progress together. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this forum will provide the opportunity for thoughtful discussions, collaborations, networking, and innovation, which lay the platform and the groundwork for a healthier, digitally empowered health services for our Pacific health systems and communities. I wish you all the very best for a successful and fruitful uh, meeting in the next three days. And I look forward to the outcome of your deliberations. Thank you very much.